Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 36 of 100 days 100 concepts and today in this video I'll quickly give a brief outlook on what are these G versus X curves so basically what is this G? G is my Gibbs free energy and X will be my composition which usually is represented in terms of mole fraction so basically how will this curve look like so g versus x curves are something like this where g is on the y-axis and x composition on the x-axis so typical curve will be something like this okay so let's say uh, i have x varying from 0 to 1 okay something like this Okay, so let me say this is x equal to 0 and this is x equal to 1. So usually the curves will look something like this. Okay, which basically are called as my cup shaped G versus X curve. So usually we have a formula for Gibbs free energy which is RT XA ln XA plus XB ln XB. Okay, this is the you know simple formula which we follow which we have you know derived the relation between g and x right so of course you have many other uh, modifications also if you have some miscibility gap then this curve will look differently okay so how different so basically if you have some miscibility gap this curve will look something like this okay which we call a double well okay so why and what um, i can't cover all the all of that concept in just five or ten minutes yeah of course it's all covered in our video course so you can always check that out right so if you have a miscibility gap in the system you will see a double well whereas if you have you know a normal curve then it will be a cup shaped curve now how will i you know use this particular curve to explain the stability so let me take an isomorphous system so what is an isomorphous system which has complete solubility correct so something like this so let's say here i have liquid solid and liquid plus solid correct which is a solid solution basically or you know two phase region correct so here i have two phases correct liquid and a solid right so let me just let me take a line over here or something like this so of course this is a phase diagram so this is temperature and this is composition correct so let's say at t1 so if i draw g versus x for this particular temperature how will this will be looking like okay so here as we go along that means i am going along this line right so i am increasing the composition in this direction so in this particular region so let me call give some naming over here so let this point be one two three and four okay so in the region of one and two okay you see that my liquid phase is stable correct that means liquid is existing in this particular region that means obviously we know whichever phase is existing that is more stable at that particular you know system so the gibbs free energy of that particular phase should be low right that's what usually we say correct now if you consider this region between two and three in this particular region we find both the phases liquid as well as solid right and similarly from here from three to four it is completely solid so my curves will look like this so this is my liquid and this is my solid okay something like this so you can easily see here right so uh, of course at equilibrium what we do we just take a common tangent over here okay so if you take a common tangent what we get so let's say this is percentage b okay so this is pure b and the other side let's call pure a okay so these are nothing but the partial 
free energy spatial molar gives free energies or these can also be written as chemical potentials okay remember the chemical potentials are nothing but the partial molar free energies right so this is how we have constructed the g versus x curve now why in this particular manner why is it intersecting like this so it's nothing but if you see these points over here which i i can just take this right so of course you have two other points over here so these points are nothing but my one two three and four okay so this is g versus x at this particular t temperature t1 as we change the temperature you get usually different points so here how many points we have generated we have got two points okay where you can see on the liquidus and the solidus similarly let's say i am increasing the temperature so somewhere here so here it is completely liquid only so how will my uh, graph look like so let me call it uh, t2 okay so at temperature t2 how will my curve look like so only liquid is the uh, phase that is present so you have your again if you want to name this is my liquid and this is my solid curve right similarly here this is my liquid curve and my solid curve will be somewhere on top this is my solid so here there is no intersection only so from 0 to 1 by varying the mole fraction from 0 to 1 the only phase that you find is liquid only because in this particular range it is only having the least gibbs free energy whereas here at this temperature t1 it is not the case because you also have some you know uh, intersections of the curve so you have mixture that is formed so by varying you know by doing some several experiments and calculating this stuff at all the range of temperatures you get these different points like this correct so similarly you get uh, some other point over here if you increase the temperature okay something like this it will go finally to this similarly as you come down also you have something like this so on joining all these points what you get you get a phase diagram which you are seeing over here okay so the main um, underlying principle of you know forming a phase diagram or constructing a phase diagram will come from this g versus x curves okay so i hope uh, i made this concept clear to you and how you can even apply this right so the same concept you can apply for any kind of phase diagram maybe you take take you take toward anything right so yeah that's it from my side for this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also don't forget to visit everythingmetallurgy.com to get one of the most affordable test series and also one of the best mentoring video course for gate metallurgy thank you guys meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you